Hello, welcome everyone. Today we will understand about Azure Fire Firewall Forced Tunneling configuration. So, in our last video, we saw what is Azure Firewall Forced Tunneling. What that means, if we want to route our Azure Firewall traffic through a user-defined route, which will not directly route the traffic to the internet instead it will route the traffic to on-premise edge or in uh, virtual appliance which is exist in the um, uh, uh, virtual network so that uh, we can get a secure uh, or we can uh, run or we can have the um, better security uh, features so let us see how we have to uh, configure this uh, force tunneling in this video so if we are creating a firewall manager we have to enable the force tunneling option uh, to get this uh, service for this one we will be this uh, azure firewall will be creating a dedicated subnet called Azure Firewall Management Subnet uh, minimum subnet size of 26 and uh, which is required to associated with the uh, public IP address with its own public IP address in first tunneling mode Azure Firewall service incorporates the management subnet uh, for its operational purposes by default, the service associates a system provided route table to the management subnet. The only route allowed on the subnet is a default route to the internet and propagate uh, routes must be disabled. Uh, so, we should avoid creating our own uh, customer route tables. Uh, so, that should be avoided while post tunnel configuration doing the post tunnel configuration so within this firewall con within this configuration Azure firewall subnet can include routes to on premises firewall or NVA to process uh, traffic before it is passed to the internet we can publish these routes via BGP to Azure firewall subnet if propagate routes are enabled in this subnet So this is how we have to configure Azure Firewall force tunneling in, uh, in the Azure Firewall. So let us see some other concept like this in our upcoming video. Thanks for watching.